Hi Taurus, welcome to another love reading of yours. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Come on Taurus in love. If this reading resonates with you when you need a person reading, all that information is also going to be down below. Someone's doubting if they can make something happen, okay? Or this is someone who's just stopped manifesting something. We'll see. Okay. Uh, let's clarify and then I'm going to start singing, okay? So why is the magician in reverse here as the overall energy for Taurus? Seven of Wands. Someone's blocking. This is someone, you know what, trying to guard themselves. The Seven of Wands, to me, this is no one else who's coming at you. You're guarding yourself from your own insecurities, from your own fears, okay? So this is someone out here with the seven of wands here. This is someone who's feeling very insecure or someone who just doesn't know how to get the other person back. Someone wants you back, but uh, they're very guarded. And that's one of the reasons why the manifestation is not working. I think this person needs, feels the need to manipulate the situation or this is just someone who has a lot of self-doubt of whether they can make things happen with you or not. But again, someone feeling very powerless over a situation. They feel they don't have everything that it takes to get you back or for you to get, get them back. Why is the Eight of Swords in reverse in the past? So in the past, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. You got, you, I think you, Remove yourself from a situation that you felt very stuck, tight, and bound to. So I'm getting there was someone here who was very stuck in a situation, okay? And this could be you who kept your uh, kept yourself stuck in a situation for the longest time. Only because you were living in fear, or only because you were paralyzed by fear, or only because you thought what would happen next. You wanted a lot of what, where, when, how, why, okay? You wanted to know a lot of things, or probably you just had too much expectations, okay? Could be someone who released themselves from expectations, or someone who just un who's unstuck from a situation that they thought they will never be able to get over or get out of. What is the Eight of Swords? Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Wands, yeah, see? So there's someone here who wanted to start something new, or there's someone who started a new venture is what I'm getting after they release themselves from a situation that they felt very tight, bound and stuck to. Uh, in the current situation with the Five of Swords in reverse here, what is the Five of Swords in reverse? Ten of Swords in reverse. So there's someone who I see is wanting to walk away from a situation, okay, that they felt very backstabbed and betrayed, to, betrayed from and now they're ready to recover, okay, they're ready to come out of that situation. This could have been, there could have been an ending between you guys, okay, not there could have, I think there is an ending between you guys, okay, in the past. You release yourself from a situation and now there was an ending here and now you're trying to heal yourself, recover yourself or you're trying to come back from that brink of failure, okay, you're trying to uh, get those swords out of your back with the Ten of Swords in reverse here, okay? You're trying to heal from this situation. What I'm getting is two things. One, either there's someone here who's wanting to re reconcile, wanting to come towards you, and they want to get this relationship back moving, okay? Someone wants a rebirth in this situation. Or this is you just who's just ready to walk away and ready to heal on your own. You want to heal on your own. But I still see in the current situation, there is someone who's wanting to come back who's dropped their swords, no mind games, no games, no deception, nothing. I think this is someone also again who wants to come back and they want to revive the situation, revive the uh, relationship that is completely dead. Why is the... Why is the Knight of Cups here? On this person's mind is the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? We again have the Knight of Cups. This person is really wanting to open up. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Come on, give me one card. King of Swords. So someone's coming in with clarity, dude. This is someone who's going to take a very logical approach towards this situation. And they're coming in to over up to you, express emotionally. This could be an apology. I think this is more of an apology. But in the past, this could be someone, you know, who played a lot of mind games with you. They could have always constantly manipulated you, making you feel, uh, you know, that you don't know where you stand with them in their life. Okay, or this was just uh, someone, you know, who constantly um, shut you down every single time you try to speak to them about the relationship or what your issues were or what you were feeling, right? They could have just shut you down. And that's why you let this person go in the past and you started something new. You had a new idea, you were inspired and you were wanting to follow your passion. 
Now this person on their mind, they want clear cut communication. They're coming in with communication and they're even at the same time wanting to, they're finally following their heart is what I'd say. They're wanting to open up to you, expressing themselves emotionally, wanting to be vulnerable or just giving an apology. But it's gonna be good communication with the King of Swords here. They're, they're gonna only deal with a lot of logic, but not only with the logic, but again, at the same time, they're gonna have that little soft side to them. How do they view you as the Four of Pentacles? They view you as someone who's very, very shut down and extremely stubborn, blocking your heart chakra, not wanting to open up. You're scared of them. I feel you're wanting to protect yourselves from them because you were already hurt by this person in the past. What is the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, same five of swords in reverse. So you were the one who walked away. I'm getting two different cards here. Here, in the current energy, I feel this is someone who's coming towards you. I feel this is someone who's coming towards you, okay? And uh, they want to revive the uh, relationship. And you, when I see you viewing them, why you're so shut down is only because you walked away from this mind games and deception and manipulated energy. Could be an abusive relationship, whatever, right? But yeah, this person could have constantly kept you in a lot of confusion, okay? You just didn't know where this was going is what I'm getting. The temperance wanted to come out, so I think something's gonna happen in divine timing. So yeah, this person's wanting to come in, but it's gonna happen in divine timing, okay? They're waiting for the right time, or this is just a lot of things happening in the back, okay? Um, the universe is planning something for you, and you probably can't see it yet, but it's coming in. Why is the strength here? In their deepest emotions, there's a strength. They're holding back, or you're holding back. Why is the strength here? Someone's trying to see. Again, a repetitive card, the magician in reverse here. This person's holding back. They have no confidence that they can make it, ha make it happen with you. Feeling powerless. I think they feel they don't have control over the situation. With the strength here, this person is trying their best to tame the situation. But again, with the magician in reverse, you're right. It's just them making things even more difficult for themselves. Could be ego, but I'm not getting a lot of ego, okay? I'm getting this person protecting themselves from their own securities. They're being very defensive right now against you. Like they want to make it happen, but they don't know how to. And that's why they're holding back. This is a lot of withdrawing, a lot of resistance, you know, towards you. It's there in their logic, in their mind it is, but in their emotions, that's how they feel. Why the two of wands here? How they want to move forward with you? They still have to make a decision. What is the two of wands? This is someone needing to make a decision. They're at a crossroads. Do, do I want to invest into this or not? Do I want to move, move forward or not? That's why they're just like in that indecisive energy. Death friend. <laughs> Something's going to take time. Something's going to take time, guys, before this person comes and moves in forward towards you. Okay? It's all going to happen in divine timing and there is a reconciliation coming in. Like in two of wands. It's a very stuck and stagnant energy. You can like stay there forever and ever and ever and still not make a decision. Only because you're lacking confidence. You just don't know if your plans are going to work out, if it's going to work out for this person or not, okay? But temperance. They're being very cool, calm, collected, okay? And this is almost like divine guidance, okay? Like something's going to happen at the right time. It's going to happen at divine timing, okay? So yeah, something's going on behind the scenes. Alright, and what's going on behind the scenes is Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone's emotionally shut off, not wanting to be vulnerable. This is a lot of depression, a lot of sadness around a situation or a relationship that once had a lot of potential in, okay? But right now there's someone here who's just very closed off. They're not wanting to open up. What is this Ace of Cups in reverse? Someone's very closed off to love and with Eight of Pentacles here, someone's very focused on their work. Could be you, could be them. Anyone. You could be both. Very, look, I think this is you because you could have been very hurt in the past, right? I think this is you who's not open to love anymore, not open to a reconciliation, not open to a new, new beginning in love. And all you're doing is I think you're trying to numb the pain. This is a lot of numbing that I'm getting. You could try that num numbing can be through alcohol, just uh, trying to completely dump yourself into work, bury yourself into work so you don't have to think about what went wrong or don't have to think about the emotions and the uh, trauma that you went through, right? But this is a lot of numbing. That's why you're shut down. You're shut down. And your your way of shutting down and not putting in any energy towards this person or not wanting to, you don't want, um, you're trying to keep yourself away from any kind of pain that this is going to cause you. Okay, you're keeping away from any kind of drama. And with the Eight of Pentacles, you're shut off to love and you're only focusing on your career or focusing on your work or your self-worth, working on yourself, etc. 
that this is focused on anything but this person or this relationship. Your advice for the sun here is to keep a very light-hearted approach. Stay optimistic of your love life is what I'm getting. Why is the sun here? Perfect. Contemplate. Do a lot of thinking. Take a time out. Okay, is that your advice? That is your advice. A hermit and the sun here. This is be very, very patient. Do a lot of contemplation. Go within yourself. Try and get the find the find the answers within yourself. A lot of soul searching, a lot of self-introspection, a lot of what, when, where, how, why, a lot of uh, alone time. Take some time out. I'm with the sun here, but at the same time, don't take don't be lonely. Take some time alone. Okay? Don't be lonely. There's a difference here, okay? I'm not asking you to isolate yourself. The advice is for you is to keep it a very lighthearted approach. Be very, very positive about this, stay very optimistic, but at the same time, take some time out. Don't jump into or rush into making any decision, okay? And go within yourselves and find out and trust yourself, be wise and try and understand what is exactly happening, okay? Because in the rear, in the outcome, we have the king of wands. I feel someone's coming towards you and wanting to take action. What's, what's the king of wands here? That's the king of wands. Three of Cups, someone wants a reconciliation with you. Yep, they definitely do. Someone definitely wants a reconciliation with you. With Three of Cups and the King of Wands, they're very passionate about you. There's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion between you guys, okay? And this person's very attracted to you and they're coming in. They're coming in too. They want to be with you, that's for sure. It's just that they're a little defensive or this could be you who's defensive, okay? But, yeah. They're still coming in with communication, they're coming in with clarity and they're finally ready to take action. But it's going to be some time before they do that. Okay? Because they have a lot of self-doubt and divine timing is at work. Okay? So something's just not going to immediately manifest. It's going to take some time before it manifests. Alright? So someone needs to keep a check on what they're manifesting or keep a check on their positive and negative thoughts. Okay? Their energetic, uh, there's an energetic difference out here. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.